Now remember, part of the reason why we're registering it as a service is to get it part of the dependency injection container, so this will get auto-loaded when it's needed. Let's take a look at this access route subscriber.php and see how this gets registered with the dependency injection container. It's going to be in a services.yml file, but maybe it'll be a little different than other services. Let's take a look at it for an example. So what I'm going to do is copy this class name here, and I'm going to search for it across our code base just to see where it pops up. And I'm going to look for it in a services.yml file. Okay, here it is in the core.services.yml. Let me open this up. All right, so access route subscriber is the name of this that links up with this class. So the difference with this in comparison with the other services that we've looked at so far is that it has a tag. So you see this tags key here, and this includes a simple array. And within this array here is a key value pair array delineated by these curly braces. We talked about this in the YAML file discussion. And so this includes a name and then event subscriber. And you can see this also used up here for a different service too. So what I'm going to guess is that this is a necessary requisite in order for this to be registered as a subscriber to an event. So when we add the service to our services.yml file for the blind date module, we'll want to add this tag as well. Instead of writing this out, let's jump to our resource pack and copy something that's pre-made from there. So I'm going to go over to the resource pack, and what we'll do is open up this blinddate.services.yml, registering the subscriber. Let's compare this with our existing services.yml file. I'm going to copy this, and then we're going to do a comparison with the clipboard here to see what changed. Okay, so basically, we're just adding a new service to our services file. It's going to be under this services key. We're going to prefix it with blind date, of course, the name of our module, and then dot blind date subscriber. Again, this lines up with the name of the class. It doesn't have to. This can be whatever we want it to be, but it makes sense to line it up so it's easier to search for, and usually the class name is descriptive. We have the class, just like we did in our other service, but this time we're adding the event subscriber tag to it. And so the combination of these two things, the creation of our event subscriber class, and then also adding it to our services, will cause this to trigger. Now, the reason why it gets triggered is because of this tags here. The tags tell Drupal, when this is processed, that it wants to do a particular something with this service. In the case of an event listener, we want to make sure the events get registered with the event dispatcher inside of Symfony, and we're doing that with this tag. So let's exit out of this comparison. So what we're going to do is copy the entire 18th step, and we're going to paste it over the services.yml file and save it. And now we should be able to rebuild the dependency injection container in order to include this new service. Let's go back to the browser and we'll clear our caches. I'll click on configuration, then performance, then clear all caches. Okay, so we're now seeing this blind date, get it? And if we inspected this and refreshed, we'd see that this page shows a 404. So if we jump back to our code and take a look at our subscriber, these two things that are happening in the response object, setting the content and setting the status code to 404 is happening here. So this is cool. We've added our first listener to an event, and you can follow the same pattern to add a listener to any other kind of event. Now, as you may have noticed, if we go back to our code and scroll down, in get subscribed events, we can trigger different methods to run on different events. We can actually create a full list of events here and assign them to different methods inside of this class. So we're doing something with just one event here, but we could continue to string these along inside of our subscriber. Basically, we're all wired in at this point.